The principle of how this tests compression is based upon this control head being able to measure the tension in the sidewall of the garment as it's stretched to size. So as you don the garment, Stretch to the length. Smooth the garment again. And hold. As this control head is applied against the garment, it displaces the garment slightly and measures the tension in the side of that garment when it's stretched to size. So it's measuring the tension by applying a load against here and, and measuring that. And then in order to calculate compression levels, you would need to then know the girth at any particular location where you take the reading. So if my girth here at this location of 20 centimeters, if my girth at this location, at this here would let's say be 20 centimeters and I get a reading of 200 on my reading here. My compression level in millimeters of mercury would be 4 times this reading divided by the girth in centimeters. So in that particular case it would be 4 times 200 which would be 800 divided my, by my girth which would be 20 centimeters which would give me a resulting compression of 40 millimeters of mercury at this location. Therefore, using this machine is important that you know two things. One is what is my design intent and what is my girth, the, the distance around the former here, which is the same as the distance around the, the circumference of your leg for the intended person and then whatever this tension is in the sidewall. When this is applied against that location it gives it a reading that's proportional to a known weight and you can calculate the compression using that simple formula. Four times this reading divided by this girth at the location of the measurement in centimeters will give you a, a value in millimeters of mercury of compression.